So the last vlog was about horror movies and not really about me talking about me, which is what I set out to do. And, and actually the fact that the vlog was immediately sidetracked to horror is uh, symptomatic of the AS. AS is Asperger's Syndrome. I'm going to put a link in the sidebar to the wiki article. Um, it's really the best way for people to get kind of acquainted with the basics. Uh, I can tell you that I, as someone with AS, am hyper-focused on a very narrow range of things. And at the top of that list, there's horror and there's writing. So, of course, stuff like that, like the last vlog happens. And um, the, the best way, actually, for me to kind of articulate what's going on up here um, is going to be writing about horror. Uh, for whatever reason, horror is the genre on which, uh, with which I'm completely, you know, enamored and consumed by it. And writing is the means by which I sort out all of these, uh, these thoughts, this chaos in my head. I channel it into something productive. I, I process things and exercise them from my mind before they drive me out of my mind. Um, AS can be like, it's it's like being in a storm. I've heard it described as kind of sensory overload, and that's true, particularly in social situations. It's not because I don't know how to behave socially. I've, I've ever since childhood, spent a lot of time studying other people, people who I would call normal people, and learning to behave like them, and I can do the posturing, I can do the small talk, I, I can do what you're supposed to do, but there just comes a point when I'm in a social situation, and it can be with people I've known my entire life, and the external stimuli becomes too much, and I got all these things racing around in here, even right now as I'm doing this, I got all these other things racing around in here, and I have to isolate myself, and I have to find the eye of the storm. You can never get out of the storm. But you find the eye of the storm, kind of a semi-calm place, where you can look at everything as it's spinning around you. You can pick out things, you can organize things, and you can process them. I use writing, and um, and writing is going to be how it's going to be a huge part of what I'm trying to do with this whole this whole new me. Um, my next novel is going to have a character, a protagonist, and it's, it's going to be heavily based on me, and it's going to describe all the things I've been through in the last few years and, and just what it's like to kind of be in my head. And I don't think that's me hiding behind that character because I'm being very, very clear that it's me. Um, it's just, it's the only way I can do it. There are certain times when I've, I've been able uh, to sit down and describe things you know, to my parents, to my ex, and explain to them how my brain works. But it's only after I've scripted it in my head. It's only after I've rehearsed it. I've gone over it with myself so many times. And then I can kind of read that to them, read that back to them, and, and, then, and then they get it. So... This vlog is still hugely important. I'm gonna, you know, try and keep it on track, but it's it's definitely, you know, it's always gonna be about the writing, no matter what in my life. It's always gonna be about the writing. So, um, but there, link in the sidebar, and this I hope uh, is kind of a basic, kind of an AS 101. And we'll go from here. Thanks for watching.